from the confidential journals of A.Z. Fell, volume 603. Dear Diary, last month Crowley and I both happened to be in Edinburgh. And he insisted I visit a local graveyard at midnight. He had come upon something, he said, that might amuse me. A statue of the Supreme Archangel himself. It's depressingly accurate. It's definitely Gabriel. It's uncanny. Do you think he knows? Probably comes here to stare at it, marveling at his own beauty. I think there's someone here. This one's mine, you bastards. Rather strange time to be burying someone. I've got a spade. If the two of you are still here in 10 seconds, I'll use it on you. <laughs> I like you. Didn't you let us stop you? Uh. Oh, this isn't good. Well, I'm depending on your point of view. You say potato, uh. I say excellent. My side are gonna love a spot of booty snatch. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm... English. Mr. McFell. Um, I just thought I, sh I should warn you that digging up bodies... Uh. <laughs> well, it's, it's wrong. He's not using it anymore. There's something for his family to cry over. Now, would you like uh. a wee hand with your corpse? I resolve to show this young person the error of her ways. It's not an easy job. If the watch catch you, you'll swing for it. It's not the danger of what you're doing. Don't you know that it's wrong? All I know is there's a surgeon in Newington who will give me a great big watch of cash for a fresh body like that one. But you don't have to do this. You could be a bookseller. I can't read very well. I don't own a shop. Well, a weaver, then. <laughs> Weaving! Brilliant idea. I, well, I can't quite remember exactly where I left my loom. Farming? But you left your loom on your farm, didn't you? This piss-drenched patch is where me and my pal sleep. You all right, wee Morag? Never better, Hen. Never better. Just trying to keep wee Morag and me alive, and it doesn't hurt anyone who isn't already dead. So you can shove your morals up your <laughs> Mr. McFell. I brought you something. Oh, come on, I've already eaten. Roasted chicken, butter potatoes, two helpings of marmalade pudding for after. You're a filthy liar, Elspeth McKinnon. And a wee angel. Hi. What's in the barrel, Hen? I didn't. Please tell me you didn't. Oh, she absolutely did. Nice, fresh body. It was just this once. I promise we can get seven, even eight pounds for a good one. We can get a room in a proper boarding house. Not like the last one. And you'll never go to bed hungry. You're going to hell, Hen. Quite right. It was wonderful to meet you, Wee Morag. There is a stolen body in that barrel. This is wicked. Oh, I'm down with the wicked. Anyway, is it wicked she needed the money? That is irrelevant. Look, I am good. You, I'm afraid, are evil. But people get a choice. You know, they cannot be truly holy unless they also get the opportunity to be wicked. She is wicked. Right. Yeah, that only works if you start everyone off equal. You can't start someone off like that and expect her to do as well as someone born in a castle. Ah, but no, no, that's the good bit. The lower you start, the more opportunities you have. So Elspeth here has all the opportunities because she's so poor. That's losing. No, that's ineffable. 